Good morning, rail fans, and welcome. It is Saturday, March 27th, and uh, this video not going to be quite the quality that uh, I normally am able to put out on the channel, but I uh, wanted to get this put out as soon as possible so everybody can kind of see what is going on in Nashville this morning. Uh, I was out taking my son to work and got word that a train had derailed just north of where we normally sit at the Nashville National Cemetery. Uh, so all I had with me was my iPhone, uh, but made my way up there and captured uh, video clips where I could. Uh, from the cemetery, you could look north to the Eakin signal, and the, the, uh, the crash appears to have happened between the signals. Um, not sure exactly what transpired. I know that that is Q503's locomotives that you can see there as it was headed southbound in from Chicago. I'm unsure of the identif identification of the train that was hit. Um, so, you know, this is about as close as we could get to the side of the train. Uh, and again, didn't really have great zoom. This is with the iPhone's six times zoom looking from a storage facility uh, kind of up the hill. From what I've heard, you can see a hopper car there on its side that did evidently come down that hill into the side of that white building there. Uh, and then we've got some photographs here that the Nashville Fire Department had put on Twitter, so I definitely want to give them credit for these four photographs here. Uh, these are not mine, these are theirs. Um, so you can see quite a bit of damage, quite an impact. Um, can't, you know, again, really tell what happened if I had to guess. This crossover switch here, probably one train was parked and didn't quite clear that crossover. Um, as you can see here, RJ Corman has already made its way onto the scene this morning and is frantically busy along with CSX trying to clear these tracks as it's the main uh, thoroughfare uh, of traffic north and south into Nashville. I was also able to capture M977 here, which is actually a DPU off of another train to the north, as it made its way to hook up to the rear of Q503. Uh, sometime later this morning they will drag um, a portion of this train back to the north uh, to help clear up some of the tracks for those workers. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the thumbs up below to give us a like. Also, please click on the Rusty Boxcar logo on the right side of the screen to get a subscription to the channel. And send us a comment. Really enjoy reading all your comments and I try to respond to each one of them. Thanks and have a nice day.